the hell's been going on? Have you not heard? Do you think I'd be flaming well asking if I had? Fire started at Katie's and spread to the shop and the cafe. Anyone up? Yeah, Viv and Terry died. You're joking. Could have been worse. Not for Viv and Terry. Never had anything against either of them. Carl, maybe. Wouldn't have minded him going. Pollard. He's never done anything for me. Rodney. Dad. So come on, who would you rather die in the fire, eh? You are sick, do you know that? Are you all right with Katie moving in then? Yeah, yeah. She's tidy the road and she can stay as long as she wants. Doesn't that surprise me? You don't think Andy had anything to do with that fire? No prizes for guessing what they wanted with him. Well, they're taking statements off everyone. They haven't asked me. Yeah, you were in Bristol, weren't you? Well, as far as they know. Still. I know the smart money's on, eh? <laughs> mate, mate, if you're gonna start smashing stuff up, let me know. I'll move my breakables, yeah? Have you seen where the bottle opener is? Yeah, it's over here where it always is. Oh, don't worry, I'll just get my own, yeah? Sorry, mate, I don't mean to take it on you. Apology accepted. Mate, you've done nothing wrong, OK? So just, just be cool. You've got a short memory, haven't you? That was different. How? Because I was being deliberately framed, wasn't I? <laughs> Look, mate, they've got nothing on you, OK? They're just trying to put you on the back foot, so don't give them the satisfaction. Well, I need to speak to Katie. No, 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 you should not speak to Katie in a state you're in, pal. OK, she's got enough on a plate. Look, I know you didn't do it. You know you didn't it's do it. It's not what we know that counts. It's just. Just calm down, all right? Let me try to pin it on some other mug tomorrow. You'll see. Hmm. Cheers. Go steady, mate. What, you're my dad now, are you? No, I just want you to fully appreciate the culinary magic that I've created. It's going to knock your socks off. Just what I'm looking for in the chili. Everyone. All right, Katie, hope you're feeling brave. I've not held back on the firepower. Hope you like your food spicy. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm not going to stay for tea. How come? I'm going to go and stay with Chaz tonight. <laughs> Why? I just think under the circumstances it's for the best. I've just spent all day down at the Nick. With Henshaw telling me that half the village have got me down as a suspect. And now you're telling me this? But they have to do their jobs, don't they? <laughs> How's it going to look if you move out now? Andy, I don't care how it looks, all right? I'm doing this for me. Uh, I'll, I'll get you a pint in, mate. 